Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have some exciting news regarding the iOS 10.3.3 exploit that was just released as well as the Houdini application that I had talked about in my last video. So with that being said guys, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so first off guys, let's go and smash up the 10 likes on this video. Thank you guys so much for all the support and comment something down below for a chance to get pinned. So with that being said guys, the first thing I do want to talk about is in fact the Houdini application. So with the first link inside of the description below, we'll go ahead and redirect you guys to the GitHub page to download Houdini by Cheesecake UFO and like I said in my last video. So officially like a couple hours later, it was actually released which is why I'm making this video right now to update you guys on the Houdini app. Now basically what this application does is you can go ahead and customize your guys' iDevice to your liking without having the need to be jailbroken. So if you guys want, you guys can go ahead and head over to this page inside of the description. Click on the download beta, you guys will get an IPA. Then you guys can go ahead and use the Cydia Impactor method in order to sideload the application on your guys' iDevice. Now I want to go ahead and talk about the details about the Houdini application itself. So right after it was released, Cheesecake UFO actually released this post on Reddit earlier saying what basically Houdini can do and I wanted to share that with you guys. So right here, what can this do is basically, like I said, anemone for an unjailbroken iDevice. So theme user installed applications, hide slash rename user installed application labels, add Cydia sources and install themes, which is pretty unique to me, and clean all application cache, change the device's display resolution, hide slash rename 3D touch icon shortcuts, edit Siri suggestion list, theme passcode keypad to an iOS 11 style or use custom pictures of your own, colorize and resize the icon badges, theme the control center icons as well as the sliders, and last but not least, theme the lock screens, music control icons, and potentially more that he adds on the very bottom. So of course this application is in fact a work in progress. I'm gonna be pretty much sure that he will be updating it in the future because scrolling down here, he does say that some features don't work with a certain device and certain versions. He has not yet found a solution to the problem, but I'm sure this application is gonna be very successful for him in the future and I'm sure we're gonna be, go ahead and see updates regarding this. So like I said in my last video, this is basically an anemone for an unjailbroken eye device and it's pretty amazing to see that this is actually working without having the need to be jailbroken. Now, the next thing I do want to talk about is, in fact, a jailbreak exploit itself released by Seguza. So he actually released this project right here called Vortex, and it allows an exploit for iOS 10.3.3 and below. Of course, it is a work in progress, he says, but it also gets root access to an iOS version so far. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out the GitHub, I'll go ahead and leave it inside of the description, which will be the second link down below. But one of the most important things right here is it allows you to get root access on your A7 through A9 devices. So with that being said, A7 through A9 is the iPhone 5S all the way to the iPhone 6S Plus. This excludes the iPhone 7, iPhone 8, as well as the iPhone 10. So sorry guys, you guys are basically stuck. If you guys are on an iPhone 7, I just recommend you guys staying where you guys are at for right now until we actually get more news regarding an exploit that might work for these particular iOS versions. And the reason why the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8 as well as the iPhone 10 are much harder to jailbreak is the fact that security in iOS as well as hardware vulnerabilities for all these new devices. So that's why we're not seeing a jailbreak or any hints for exploits regarding those iPhone versions that you guys may have. But anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to share with you guys the Houdini application if you guys wanna try it out for yourself without having the need to be jailbroken as well as the iOS 10.3.3 exploit which allows root access on an iDevice that I'm sure will be bundled with other exploits in the future in order to make us a jailbreak for iOS 10.3.3 or below. So with that being said guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just conclude this video right now and like I said in my last video, I'll go ahead and host the giveaway once I'm all ready with things as well as school is over in about a week. So with that being said guys, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future as well as a lot more coverage on the iOS 10.3.3 as well as the iOS 11 jailbreak that might possibly
possibly be released in the future and i'll go ahead and update you guys on that once news is released don't forget to snapshot this outro or scan my snap code to add me on snapchat as well as follow me on my twitter page and facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to stay up to date on what's been going on inside of the jailbreak world so with that being said guys i'll see you guys in my next video this is elite apple hacks signing out